Qatar has denounced an Israeli law permitting resettlement and evacuated outposts. A Qatari official lauds Qatar's contributions to the World Health Organization. Qatar charity donates 120,000 iftar meals to earthquake victims in Turkey. And in sports, Al Dahil is expecting a tough Uridu Cup final against Dark Horses and Muslal. Hi, it's Fatma, and you're watching the Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar has strongly expressed its condemnation of the Israeli occupation's approval of a law that allows for the resettlement of evacuated outposts in the West Bank. Qatar's Ministry of Foreign Affairs stated that this law further solidifies the occupation and its expansionist policies, which violates international law and various UN resolutions. Last Monday, the Israeli parliament repealed portions of the 2005 disengagement law, which had ordered the evacuation of four West Bank settlements, allowing settlers to return to the illegal outposts in the occupied Palestinian territory. Qatar health official Dr. Hanadi al Hamad has hailed the country's prominent role in the World Health Organization, saying that it maintained a positive effect on numerous international health policies. Doha's initiatives in several health programs while working with WHO has contributed to the development of the health sector locally and globally. And now, Qatar charity has donated nearly 120,000 iftar meals to those affected by the tragic 6 February earthquake and torrential rains in Gaziantep. The recipients of the donation drive included those who are made Made homeless by the catastrophe and were forced into living in tents and shelters. And in sports, Al Dahil are set to face Al Muslal in the Uridu Cup finals on Tuesday. Despite being viewed as favorites, Al Dahil's star studded squad will not underestimate the ability of Al Muslal in their match at Jasin bin Hamid Stadium. Tuesday's night match is an important one for Al Muslal, who are battling to avoid relegation as they sit in 11th position in the Qatar Stars League. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app. For your daily updates.